Hello everyone. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to two of my members, David Wayne and Nicholas Chick. Thank you for becoming a member again and supporting the channel. All right, so let's get started. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential system that includes logarithms. And I'll be presenting two methods. I'm also going to show you a graph because we need to talk about a couple things regarding solutions. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. We have a to the power log b of base, log base b of a equals b to the fourth power and a to the power b equals 16. Okay, let's start with the first method. For our first method, I'm going to use substitution. So let's go ahead and call this x. So my assumption tells me that log base b of a equals x. And from here I get a to the power x equals b to the power 4. I also have a to the power b equals 16. So here's one thing I can do from here. Obviously, my assumption also gives me another equation. No, so this is known and then we can also write using the definition of logarithms from here we can write that b to the power x equals a that is basically the definition right so now we can go ahead and use this here let's go ahead and replace a with b to the power x and that gives us b to the power x to the power x equals b to the power 4 and this implies b to the power x squared equals b to the power 4 and x squared equals 4 and as you know this equation has two solutions one of which is x equals 2 the other will be x equals negative 2 so we're going to be looking at each case and then try to find all possible solutions from here so what happens if x is equal to 2 then remember our equation gave us b to the power x equals a so from here a equals b squared but we also have another equation that we can use which is a to the power b equals 16 so let's go ahead and use these two equations together as a system now since i can replace a with b squared let's go ahead and do that here so this gives us b squared to the power b equals 16 and now uh, since uh, the exponents are multiplied 2 and b I can switch them around and write this as b to the power b squared equals 16. Nice. So from here, we can, by square rooting both sides or just using the absolute value uh, at the same time, we get two solutions. Again, there are two numbers, two real numbers, whose square equals 16. And those numbers are 4 and negative 4. So this gives us two results, b to the power b equals 4 and b to the power b equals negative 4. Obviously, b to the power b equals negative 4 has no solutions because we're looking for real solutions. Now, here is a good question. Are there any complex solutions to this equation? Something to think about. Okay, so we're not going to accept it because b is not going to be real. But from here, we're going to get a nice solution. Let's go ahead and find that solution. And you probably already guessed that from here, b equals 2 is going to be the only solution. Now, when, later on, when we check the graph, you're going to have a better idea why this is the case at least like why do we have only one solution right not necessarily the solution but why don't we have another one because in some cases we do have more than one solution but anyways you can write two you can write four as two to the second power and just by comparing the bases and the exponents you can conclude that b equals two and then of course um, there's not going to be any other solutions but you can also go about proving that as well anyway so from here we get b equals two and remember we have two equations that we can use to evaluate a either a equals b squared or a to the power b is equal to 60 it doesn't matter which one let's use the first one which seems easier we know that a equals b squared therefore from here a equals 4. so we kind of got this solution from here a comma b which is 4 comma 2. awesome so this equation is going to satisfy our system but we only looked at one case let's go ahead and look at the other case which is x equals negative 2. so x equals 2 gave us the following and now we're going to take a look at x equals negative 2. all right let's go ahead and take a look at that x equals negative 2. all 
Now, from here, what do we get, right? Let's go ahead and plug it in. So now we do know that a can be written as b to the power x. So this gives us b to the power negative 2. We also have that a to the power b equals 16. Now let's go ahead and use these two together. We know a equals b to the power negative 2. Let's replace a with that. b to the power negative 2 to the power b equals 16. Just like with the first method, I mean, not the first method, the first solution, we're pretty much doing the same thing. The only difference is we're going to have a, a negative exponent here, so we have to deal with that. Let's go ahead and put the negative 2 on the outside. And now, think about the meaning of um, a negative exponent. It just means that it's the reciprocal. So we can actually do both sides, like 1 over both sides, and that's going to give us the following, b to the power b to the power 2 equals 1 over 16. Or you can write this as 1 over b to the power b to the power 2, and then so on and so forth. Same thing. Again, from here, we get two solutions. b to the power b can be 1 fourth, or b to the power b can be negative 1 fourth. Obviously, we're not going to get a real solution from here, but we can only get something from here. So the question is, what number to the power that same number equals 1 fourth? So this is kind of problematic, and let's go ahead and check it out, why this is problematic. All right, here we go. Here's the graph of y equals x to the power x, and also the graph of y equals 1 fourth, which is horizontal line. And as you can see here, uh, they don't intersect, which means x to the power x for real x values, and especially for positive x values, because for negatives it's kind of weird, we don't have that value. That means there are no solutions, right? So this equation has no solutions. Unfortunately, even though the result is positive, we don't get any solutions from here. But we're going to look into more why this is the case. So let's go ahead and do the second method, and we can kind of talk about why uh, this equation has no solutions. Okay, great. The second method involves the following. We're going to log both sides, right? So we have the, um, we're just going to take logs with base b, and this is what we're going to be getting. So if you log both sides, this is going to be nice because you can go ahead and move this to the front, and this gives us log base b of a multiply by itself equals, you can move the 4 to the front, and that's going to become a 4. Now, this is the square of something, right? So log base b of a squared equals 4, and this gives us two solutions. It could be log base b of a equals 2, or log base b of a equals negative 2. And as you can see, we get the pretty much the same thing from here. a becomes b squared, or a becomes b to the power negative 2. And along with the other uh, equation that we had, which is a to the power b equals 16, you can just go ahead and proceed the same way, like replace a with b squared, then it's going to be this, and you know the rest, right? From here we get two solutions, b to the power b equals plus minus 4, and then with the other one, we get b to the power negative 2 to the power b equals 16, and this is going to give us b to the power b equals plus minus negative 1 fourth. But again, uh, the negative values are problematic. The only one that works is b, b to the power b equals 4, and that gives us b equals 2 as before, and a equals 4. Now, let's kind of talk about why this equation has no solutions, or why is why do ne, why do they not intersect? And the reason is simple. Uh, it has to do with derivatives. So if you go ahead and differentiate this function, uh, you're going to get first of all. Let's go ahead and ln both sides. Something that will help us. And when we ln both sides, we're going to get uh, ln y equals x ln x. And then when you differentiate by using chain rule, y prime divided by y equals the derivative of x, which is 1, times ln x, plus the derivative of ln x, which is 1 over x, multiplied by x, and that's going to give us 1 plus ln x. Obviously, we're going to multiply by y as well, so it's going to look like this. Here, y is not that important because it's just x to the power x, and this gives us uh, the derivative, and we can set it equal to 0, and from here, x is going to be uh, negative 1 over um, ln x is going to be negative 1, so x is going to be 1 over e. Okay, great. So x equals 1 over e is where this function actually have a, has a minimum. But to find the y value of that minimum, you have to plug this into the original function, and you're going to get the 1 over e to the power 
1 over e from here. I don't have a numerical value for this, but let me tell you something. This is going to be greater than 1 fourth. Therefore, these graphs will not intersect. So the minimum value actually for this function is greater than 1 fourth. Therefore, we don't have any solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.